Hello everybody, it's Max McAllister, uh, back to talk to you about another Yamaha e-bike that's just come to America. This model's called the Urban Rush, and this is uh, the Yamaha's road bikes uh, uh, model that they've brought to the U.S. Uh, this is a bike I took out for a spin myself just the other day to see how, see how I liked it, and uh, I had a great time riding this bike, actually. Um, it's got a super powerful motor, um, gives you 250 watts of assistance um, with peak, peak, peak assistance somewhere around 500 watts, but I believe it'll assist you at 250 pretty constantly. Um, it's got a 500 amp hour, 500 watt hour battery, uh, so it gives a long life. Uh, again, a range of, depending on what power mode you select, between uh, 75, 30 and 75 miles. Um, so the more economical you are with the power uh, that mode you select, then the longer life you get to use, uh, go for the longer ride. So <clears throat> um, this bike is, once again, uh, uh, is a two-speed by nine-speed drivetrain from Shimano. Uh, comes with uh, uh, hydraulic disc brakes and through axles. So it gives you tremendous stopping power and great rigidity. The uh, battery pack and the drive motor are proprietary Yamaha products. Uh, the frame is obviously a Yamaha frame, custom made just for this application. Uh, the, they have a wonderful warranty actually. It's three years on the uh, battery, motor, and frame set. And then Yamaha backs the uh, manufacturer's uh, warranty on all the other components for a year. Uh, <clears throat> they've put a nice wide tire on this bike so that it uh, has a nice compliant ride um, and can be used in a little more mixed uses. So if you occasionally, occasionally you head down a gravel road, it won't bother you. These are e-bike specific tires, so they're heavier duty and extremely durable. Um, in case you're, you know, literally if you're, in, depending on your urban environment, uh, you may hit all kinds of things. And so they wanted the tires to be very durable. One neat feature is they have a reflective strip in the tire so that if you're riding in low light or after hours conditions or in dark conditions, the bike will be highly visible. It does come equipped with an LED headlight. Um, and since I took this out and rode it myself, I mounted a water bottle cage. So it has lugs for a water bottle cage. And of course, uh, uh, pedal threads are standard. So you can fit any kind of pedal that pedal system that you're used to, to the bike. Uh, it comes with flat pedals, but uh, you know you can put a mountain bike style or a road bike style pedal system on it, no problem, whatever you're comfortable and used to riding with. Uh, so the hydraulic disc brakes work really good. Um, it drives and shifts normally with STI type shift levers. Uh, <coughs> the uh, a computer on the bike is very simple to use. Uh, once again, you just hit the power up button and you're going to select your power modes right here at your thumb as you would ride. So just from the top bar as you're riding, you can select your power mode. As you toggle the button forward, you'll start getting power assistance. So the first mode is Eco Plus. Next mode is Eco. And from there, you go to Standard and High. So Standard and High is where you get a real significant uh, power assistance from the bike and where the, the fun really starts. So uh, uh, the more economic modes uh, just cover the weight of the bike and make it um, easier to pedal, kind of make it just feel like a normal, normal bike. Once you get to the standard mode, then you get some assistance, and uh, so that's when the smiles start. Um, <coughs> the, uh, uh, so this, this bike, uh, I rode it myself just to see what it was like, and I've put about 25 miles, and I, I thought it handled wonderfully. I thought it was stable. It was very secure feeling and uh, it handled uh, rough, roughness and irregularities in the road with no trouble at all. And uh, well, once, once I came to a hill, I was able to easily conquer extremely steep hills. You know, that would be very, very challenging to, to a beginner or an average rider. We're very, very easy um, on this bike. So if you've struggled with hills or you live in a hilly area, then this is a great way to get around and be able to have some fun. Uh, and uh, uh, increase your ride time, stay out longer, have more fun, spend more time with your friends, and uh, do more miles. So, uh, 
Same thing applies to uh, ease as far as uh, battery um, on and off with the bike. There's just a simple key. You turn the key and the battery pack tilts out the side. Yamaha supplies a nice charger with the bike. Uh, when you get home, you just plug it in and it recharges it. Uh, uh, obviously with the powerful battery pack like this, you don't have to charge it every time you ride it, just certainly if you've run it down. Um, in the computer is one of the features of the computer. It tells you how much battery life you have remaining. And that's calculated based on each mode you're in. So if you crank it up to high power, it's going to adjust the mileage that you have to go so that you, you never run out of battery. Uh, people wonder about an e-bike uh, and who are unfamiliar with it. This is pedal assisted. So in no way does this bike propel itself. If you don't step on the pedals, it won't move. So it's just helping you and giving you extra power so as you pedal. Um, and then uh, if you did, we're having so much fun that you stayed out so long and have to run it out of battery, well, it's still a bicycle. You can still ride home. It still works normally. It'll just be heavier than a normal bike because of the battery and the motor, the uh, assistance motor. So anyway, that's a look at the Urban Rush, uh, Yamaha's new uh, power-assisted road bike. Uh, I think you'll agree it's uh, sleek and sexy looking. And in fact, when I went out in the group ride, many people didn't even know it was an e-bike. They, they really didn't even know what they were looking at. It just kind of just looked sleek, like uh, maybe it even has a storage compartment. No one knew, no one knew what it was. So they, uh, they certainly knew something was up when I went up the hills, though, because it was uh, so fast. So anyway, these are pedal assisted up to 20 miles an hour. So keep that in mind. It's a class three e-bike, class three e-bike, they call it. And uh, so it'll help you up to 20 miles an hour. After that, you have to be strong enough. If you want to pedal faster, you've got to take over and pedal the bike at, at, at higher speeds by yourself. Um, people ask if it'll freewheel faster than 20 and it does so if you go down a hill it'll go as fast as any normal bicycle will go down a hill uh, and uh, so that's kind of the things i can think of to tell you about this bike if you have any questions contact me i'm max at traction.com and that's spelled t-r-a-x-x-i-o-n.com and i'll be glad to answer your questions or you can call us up here at traction dynamics and uh, we'll uh, fill you in uh, this bike uh, sells for $32.99, and uh, I think it's a, a tremendous value for that money. Uh, uh, much better value than competing models at present, and uh, of course you have the quality of Yamaha, and uh, this bike has a three-year warranty on the motor, battery, and frame set, and then Yamaha provides warranty on all the other components on the bike for another year. So, all right, I think that's everything I know now. So. Uh, this is Max McAllister saying thanks for taking a look at the Urban Rush, and we'll see you soon.